So in this video, we will continue our discussion on the constructors. I have just split my screen. Uh, the classes are side by side for the ease of use. Uh, other than this, there is no change in the code from the previous video. So if we uh, if we just focus on the constructor, we see that uh, it looks like a method actually, but it's not a method. Constructors are different. There are certain differences between constructor and method, and we'll uh, we'll have a quick look on that. So just as method. A constructor can have the access modifier. We see that the access modifier in this case is public, but the constructor cannot have a return type. So we cannot write something like this. There is no compilation problem because now the Java compiler will treat it as a method with name employee with a return type, but it's not a constructor anymore. So the constructor cannot use the any return keyword. The second thing is uh, the name of the constructor must be same as the class name. So we cannot do something like this. But in case of a method, we can write any method with any name. Similarly, we cannot return anything from the constructor. So we cannot say something like this. This is not a valid constructor because as as you can see that uh, IDE is reporting it as a problem. It says that cannot return a value from a method with void result type. So the IDE is saying that this is not actually a constructor. Maybe you are trying to write a method. If you are then provide a return type. So if we simply provide a return type, for example, int one, two, three, then it's fine. But it's not a constructor anymore. It's a method. So we need to remember these small uh, things about constructors so that we don't write the return type, we don't return anything. Other than this, uh, there are minor differences uh, between uh, constructor and method. So that's it for now. In the next video, we will see uh, more on the default constructor.